What is going on guys? I'm Alvin here and welcome to episode 8 of Rex to Riches. Before we continue, I would like to mention that I'm looking to get 50 subscribers by the end of 2022. So I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me out and click on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much in advance guys. So today we have two important match. Okay, we will be facing Chesterfield and Wrexham in the Venerama National League. Alright, so these two games, right? I mean, uh, Chesterfield and Wrexham initially, you know, at the start of the season, they have been, uh, you know, uh, the media have actually predicted Wrexham to finish at the top of the league and Chesterfield behind Wrexham at the second place. So I think uh, this would be two very important match to really test ourselves, you know, to see where do we stand in terms of this league, you know. Okay, so after yesterday's episode, the draw against uh, Salihal, okay, we actually played three games, uh, three games before today. So the first one was a win against uh, Docking. We won 1-0. It was uh, it was actually a very straightforward game. Okay, um, Darren McQueen came in from the bench and scored the only goal to ensure that we got our first three points in Venerama National League. Okay, the second game after that, okay, we played again um, Tok. Should I call it Tok or Toke? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So we won this game 2-1. Okay, Asante actually played really well. He actually uh, missed his first penalty in the 15 minutes. But after that, in the 36 minutes and the 53 minutes, he actually managed to score two goals. On the 59 minutes, Shawnee Barre, Josh Shawnee Barre actually got sent off. Okay. Um, I was really I, I was really afraid after that because um, you know, I didn't want us to, you know, basically rule the chances and miss the chance of winning, you know, the three points. So I went defensive. We we, we focused on the counter-attack. Okay, uh, they managed to clot one goal back, but we managed to keep it tight until the end of the game and we went back with three points okay okay and after that we lost to halifax okay halifax is actually uh, one of the team that is uh, predicted to finish above us in the league okay so if you see over here right we were actually very very similar if you see okay uh, both of us had five shots on target okay our xg was almost identical they had an XG of 1.4. We had an XG of 1.03. Our possession was also very similar, but they were better in the final third. If you look at the rating of their attackers compared to ours, let's see, you know, Tanner with 6.4, Sean with 6.6, .6, Thomas 6.4, and Asante 6.7. Look at their attackers. So they actually took their chances. Okay, they were better finishers than us. It, it, the only silver lining here is that Brown Sterling came in from the bench and scored our only goal in this game. So he have also scored, you know, his first goal in Venerama National League. All right. So for today's game, like I mentioned, Chesterfield, Wrexham, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to talk so much. Let's just get into the game. So this is the team that I'm going to be fielding against Chesterfield today. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we have actually had four injuries to our first team players. Alex Finney is out for another two more weeks. Charlie Wellens is also injured for another two weeks. Craig Tanner, last season, he missed uh, almost the whole season. And this season, he have already started, you know, getting injuries. He'll be out for another five more weeks. All right. So, in, you know, in relation to this, uh, these injuries, the starting eleven is going to be Jack Bycroft as our goalkeeper. Sean, Robinson, Brian and Luke O'Neill is going to be our back four. Edsel and Nguyen will be our two central midfielder. Shoni Barre on the left, Darren McQueen on the right, Brown Sterling and Asante as our two striker up front. I've actually decided to give Brown Sterling a chance because uh, in the you know last game he actually managed to score a goal against Halifax, right? So let's see if he can actually yeah uh, build on that performance uh, last episode and maybe score a few more goals today because uh, Kwame. Thomas have actually started really bad for us. He's on a 6.8 rating and he haven't scored any goals yet. So he will be starting from the bench today. All right, guys. So if it has actually been 30 minutes in this game and we don't have any highlights. If we have a look, right, uh, both of the team, we don't have any shots on target yet. I'm going to demand more and see if we can actually create 
a better chance and maybe get to see a highlight in the first half. Okay, there's and there's actually another two more minutes to go and the whole high the whole first half didn't have any highlight. If you look at this, right, both of us didn't create a lot of chances. Chesterfield has been uh, they only had one you know shots shot and that was not even a shot on target. They have a xg of zero point zero two. I think I'm going to tell the team that I'm very, very far from please. Let's see if we if we can actually do a little bit of a change. We are playing on a balanced mentality. I think I'm going to go positive. And yeah, I think I'm just going to change that first for now. All right. So the first highlight, we have a free kick from our half. Brian is going to be taking it. Is he going to do a long free kick? No. He passed it to Anguesen and Anguesen. Hey. Okay, so Anguesen crossed it to Shawnee Barre. That was a great header by Shawnee Barre. You know, uh, looking for Asante and a first time finish for Asante. We are leading this game 1-0. Look at the cross. Anguesen and Josh Shawnee Barre. That was a great header by him. Great run by Asante. And we are finally in front of this game. We are the 60s, one minute, and there's only, you know, that was the only one uh, highlight that we got, you know, just now. Brown Sterling is on a 6.4. I'm not going to bring in uh, Kwame Thomas. What am I going to do is I'm going to bring Sean. I'm going to play Sean as our, you know, uh, left winger. And I'm going to play Darren McQueen to be as our pressing forward. Shawnee Barry can actually play as our right winger there. Okay, uh, Robinson is on a yellow card and he's on a 6.5. I think I'm gonna bring in a. Uh, I'm gonna bring in a uh, Chris Sally for him. I was actually thinking of bringing Harris O'Connor, but you know we are only we are only leading by one goal, right? So I don't wanna take the risk for it now. Okay, so now Josh looking for McQueen. Can he get a good run in? He passed it back to Shawnee Barre, and Shawnee Barre's uh, pass was actually too fast for Asante to get into. And now they might have a chance now here. Shimanga is through. Come on. Oh, that was a great shot, but a great save by Jack. We were lucky to not concede there. All right. So now Clark with the, with the corner. He actually found the far post, but it was headed clear by our defender. But we concede yet another corner. Clark. Come on, guys! Defend it, defend it. We really need to win this game. You know, we need to, we need to basically uh, pick up ourselves and get into winning ways again. All right. So, uh, seventy nine minutes. I'm bringing off Anguesen for Ismail Olat. Let's see if we can keep this narrow lead. Now, Jack, he's lumping it all the way forward to McQueen, but they won the possession, but. Loop only intercepted their pass and now we are looking to attack. That is a great pass by McQueen. But, sorry, that was a great pass by Asante to McQueen. But that was a, also a great save by their keeper. Edser. Now with the corner. Can he get a good corner in? He's looking for Asante on the fast post but it, it is headed clear by the defender. Shawnee Barre just let it roll into the, you know, into a throw in. Now Shan with the throw-in on the left-hand side. He tried to look for Asante. Miss header by the defender and Asante is through. He crossed it to Shawnee Barre. I'm not sure why he tried to look for Shawnee Barre there. That was not a good decision by him. Okay, Sali headed it clear. Shawnee Barre, he lost the ball to Dobra. Dobra. <laughs> and that was an easy collect by Jack by Croft. So guys, I think the game is going to end oh i thought that the game was going to end but now chesterfield actually have a freaking in a very good position oh that was an amazing freaking it actually hit the crossbar oh come on football manager just, just finish this game we are having a very narrow lead okay oh that was not a good uh good goal kick by jack there Okay, Dobra on the left hand side. Oh, we are so lucky to get, you know, to, to actually win this match. So if you look at the game, right, this was actually not a very good game, to be honest. 
We only had three shots on target. Chesterfield two. Our XG was one point oh five. We didn't have a lot of possession. Okay, but I'm gonna give credit whenever it's due. Okay, we still won the match. We still got our three points. So that is very important for us. So guys, uh, with that, with that, uh, with that win, right? We are currently sitting at the tenth position with ten points. But we actually have one game in hand. You know, because uh, one of our game was actually postponed because uh, we had five or six players that went out for a uh, for international duty. So if we actually win our game in hand, right, we will be all the way at the third position, you know, in the league. So things are still looking good for us, as you guys know, right? Ah, uh, the board they only want us to, you know, ah, uh, finish mid table this season. We are still very much on track. So guys, what am I gonna do is I will see you guys in a bit for the Wrexham match. The players are all rested and ready to go against Wrexham. We are going to be facing. Wrexham in their home stadium, and this is the lineup that will be starting against them. Bycroft will be our goalkeeper. Sean Robinson, Brian, and Luke O'Neill is going to be our back four. Edsel and Anguissen will be starting as our two central midfielder. Sean on the right, uh, on the left hand side. Paulian on the right. McQueen and Asante as our two strikers up front. Let me just summarize the team and go to the match. So Wrexham is actually playing a four-four-two diamond. Let's see how are they gonna fare against our four two four. All right, so there is gonna be a free kick for Rexham. They try to lump it all the way to Sean. Now Sean is with the possession, passing it back to Robinson. Robinson tried to look for Darren McQueen, but that was a that was an easy interception by the defender. Now they are on the right wing. You know, Forde is gonna try to look for a cross, but it was uh you know his uh, cross was actually blocked. But they still have a chance here, and that was a great, great volley by Palmer. You know, Oli Palmer, and he scored against us. He opened the scoring against us. Okay, so we have not started well in this game. Let's look at that, Morris. His cross was actually deflected um, by Edsel, but it still went into the feet of their player and. No chance for Jack there, you know. I don't think he would have been able to save it. I'm good. I'm just gonna demand more. Okay, so now we have another highlight. It's a, it's a free kick by the def, ah, uh, by the goalkeeper. But we have the possession now. McQueen, Asante is through. He's one on one with the keeper. Can he scores? Oh, Aiden, that was a great block by him, and we should be, we should be equal. To them now, oh my goodness, that was a goal to equalize there. And now Polian with the right hand side, okay, pass it back to Luke O'Neill. I think Asante was offside. Yeah, even if he would have got the got into the you know ball, he still would have been offside. Look at the attendance of Wrexham fans, man. There's actually quite a lot of them, and they oh, they have scored another goals against us. Yeah, you know they, you know they are, they are, they are expected to, you know, to win the league this season. So yeah, and we don't look, we are totally out of place, you know, in this game. If you have a look now, Asante, oh, uh, he was dispossessed by the Wrexham player, and now they have the possession. Hayden lumping it forward to Lee Robinson, good header, but they still got back the possession. Okay, now Ford on the right hand side passing it to Morris. Ford got the ball back and Malin was offside, but we got it. Uh, we we headed it clear to make Fedson and Palmer. That was a good header, but it was not enough to increase their lead. Oh, I'm gonna tell the team that I'm not that I'm not happy. Let's see what we can change over here. I think uh, since we are two nil down, right? Look at that. Brian is on a six point one. Sean is on a six point two. My goodness. We are already losing, so might as well, you know, just go for it, right? We are gonna go attacking. Hit early crosses. And we are just gonna stuck in, step up more. 
basically we are going to do everything we can to get back the possession as soon as possible and once we get back the possession no dilly dallying straight into the attack i'm going to i'm going to encourage the team i'm not going to demand more now look onil finally there is a highlight that is starting with us in position brian lumping it forward looking for mcqueen but it was headed clear by the defender now lee is with possession in their midfield hayden he is trying to look for malin but lee got the possession and he tried to chip jack okay wow that chip you know was so great he almost almost you know scored over there oh. asante is on a 6 point uh, i think we will have to sort out our defense first Shan is on a 6.1. I'm taking him off. Brian is on a he's on a 6.0. I'm bringing in Harris O'Connor there and then Toby Efter is on a 6.4. Anguison is on a 6.5 and he's tired. I think I'm bringing in Ismail. All right. All the subs done in the 69 minute. Okay. There's nothing much I can do. We are already attacking. Let's just uh, see if you know the team can actually at least at least claw one goal back come on man morrison long f oh i think palmer is offside okay yeah he is offside because when i saw onil you know uh, yeah he was actually out with his injury really hope he can actually play you know until the game ends here and hayden trying to score from there Come on, guys. We 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 actually had two shots on target, but you know it was st it was still not good enough. You know for the for for FM to even show us the highlight, they still have the possession. Robinson, we have been totally outplayed by Rexham. Asante, Asante, Asante. Yes, finally, finally he got one in. And oh, was he offside? <laughs> I didn't even realize that he was offside. Oh yeah, he was. Okay. I really thought <laughs> I really thought, you know, that would be it. At least, you know, we get to score one goal against uh, Wrexham. Robinson is now looking for Asante. Uh but it was headed clear by the defender by Edsel. Got back the ball, but it was not a good passing at all. Now Sean, oh uh, Okay. Oh. Let's go. We finally won a penalty. I think Darren McQueen is going to be taking the penalty. He is our best penalty taker. Let's see if he can score. Oh, no. <laughs> we even got a miss penalty here. All right. So things didn't go well for us today. <laughs> You know we still we still managed to get three points from this uh you know from these two games right so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain at all guys you know with this uh with this uh two games played right we are currently sitting at the eleventh position with ten points and and we actually have one game in hand you see so if we if we win the game in hand we can be sitting at the tenth position all right because of the goal difference that we have. So yeah, I really hope that you know these are all the players you know, uh, Halifax you know that we lost to, you know they are sitting at the playoff position. Wrexham that we lost to, we only had two loss, and it has all been you know all the top, I don't know the playoff bound uh playoff bound team. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna complain. We are not supposed to be you know coming into a new league and straight away winning the winning the league, right? So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain at all. So guys, what am I gonna do? Is I'm gonna play through September, October, and November, and I'll be coming in back for the game against Notts County and Bromley on the early December. All right. So these are also the two teams that are playoff bound this year. So yeah, I will come back for these two games and see how are we gonna fare against the rest of the league. You know, in these three months that is coming. So guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.